Why do we have all this stuff in our car? Well, let's go find out. I was wondering if we could head it into the Starbucks and just flip it on real quick. Okay, well, I mean, the cords for the hard drive, I mean, the power supply is not even plugged in yet, so. Oh, really? I see, I see. Here, I'll throw this back in my trunk. So I can't test what I'm about to purchase. <sighs> All right, who bets this thing's not going to work? F*** me. You mind if I take some pictures of it? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. I'm take one. Sucks for my situation, but yeah, I need this money fast. I'm only for my income right now, so. Yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and load this up. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah, appreciate man. it so much. Have a good one. Take care. You too. Yeah. Okay, so. Ryzen 2700X, X470 MSI Gaming Pro Carbon. I've never had a Thermaltake liquid cooler. Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 750 watt power supply runs rated. Cool. To top it all off, we got this sick rig. Check this thing out. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, you guys are probably wondering because I didn't actually get to show the cash on camera. It's hard to count bills and hold the camera at the same time. Uh, we got all that for $400. So <laughs> I feel like at a certain point, you guys are just going to start hating me for how good of deals I keep getting, but I can't help but show it off because like Las Vegas's used market is like a PC dream world. Their system is still missing a drive, RAM and a graphics card. But uh, I'm actually supposed to get RAM right now. So hopefully we'll cover that in a second. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this system. This is uh, easily more powerful than what I have for myself. Okay, so we are outside the house for the RAM. Uh, you guys know my rule. If it's somebody's house, I don't bring the camera. I'm really not trying to get shot. <laughs> so I'm going to go inside, pay for it. I'll let you know what I paid for and what I got. Hey, look what we got here. All right, so to you, this looks like, you know, hey, nice, Corsair Vengeance LPX. You say to get that RAM all the time for Ryzen chips. I do, but guess what else? These are two 16 gigabyte sticks for a total of 32 gigabytes. The latency is 15 and it is 3000 speed megahertz RAM for $160. I, it, for those of you who don't understand computer parts, I'll tell you what that means. That means I saved $140 on this RAM. It usually costs around 300 brand new and I got it for 160. You can't get that price anywhere. You, you, you can't get that price on RAM if it was shoved up somebody's ass and you had to pull it out. This is a steal. All right, so total price on this system right now is $560. Now all we need is a solid state drive and a graphics card. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for that. I don't know it off the top of my head. We're, we're gonna have to actually go look for some cards. <laughs> oh my God, this shit is so sick. Okay, so we are finally back with all the stuff and first things first. I'm the realist. Let's discuss what we're gonna be using for the drive and the graphics card. We're actually gonna be using a 256 SSD from Samsung, not one of the Evo or Pro models. And then we are also using a Fire Cuda, oops, a Fire Cuda two terabyte hard drive. I believe this is one of the hybrid models. I'm not entirely sure. I do know it's a quality hard drive, but I figured this system is gonna be so nice. I can't possibly not throw in another drive and try to make it a little bit more spacious. And for the graphics card, we are going to be using an RX 570 eight gigabyte model. This is the MSI variant, and for those of you guys wondering, man, Chris, you have a top of the line PC here. You've got the nicest, most maxed out possible specs, well, you know, arguably, and why would you ever think to put this RX 570 in there? Well, if you've been following the channel and some of the streams, you guys will know that I have way too many PC parts just lying around not getting any use. Now, I bought this RX 570 at the decline of the mining apocalypse and I got it for around, actually we'll cover that later, but I got it for a pretty decent price back then. Nowadays, the worth of this thing is not very high, but the important part is, is the performance of this card is still 
excellent, especially at 1080p, and it still performs pretty amazing at higher resolutions. So I thought not only is this card powerful enough for this system, in my opinion, but it also matches the black and white color scheme of this build without the RGB on. So this is the card we're gonna be using, still amazing. So with all that information out of the way, let's get into the official price breakdown. All right, so starting off with our processor, our Ryzen 7 2700X, brand new at retail, costs $300. Our X470 Gaming Pro Carbon retails for $180 brand new. Our Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 750 watt bronze rated power supply retails for $100 brand new. Our Thermaltake Flow Ring 240 CPU cooler retails for $140 brand new. And for the last part of this bundle, our Corsair 570X RGB case retails for $170 brand new. So all of these parts that we got together in that first bundle retail for $890 brand new, and these parts are actually all in brand new condition. The plastic for our 570X case hasn't even been peeled off yet. And moving on to the RAM, again, it is Corsair Vengeance LPX at a latency of 15, clocked at 3000 megahertz speed, and that is 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Brand new, that retails for $300, and we got it for 160. Now, for the graphics card. Unfortunately, I did not get the best deal on this thing, considering the current time. So I ended up getting it for $215, which is a excellent price at that time. However, now brand new for this card, it is unfortunately $225. So I really did not save all that much considering now when I'm building this computer. And moving on to the solid state drive, the Samsung 256 gigabyte SSD that I specifically got retails for $60 brand new, but I ended up getting it for $40 refurbished off of eBay. And for our Fire CUDA HDD, it actually retails for $100 brand new, and I ended up getting it for 20. So if you are going to recreate this entire system right now at retail price, this thing goes for $1,575. The actual price that I ended up paying for it was $835. Oh my God! Which means that I saved $740 for a top tier system, which is almost 50% off. I know I'm starting to say this way too often on this channel, but I really believe that this is the best deal I have ever gotten on PC parts ever. Now, obviously, I still have to put this thing together and make sure everything still works, but you know, now we're gonna cut into that beautiful time lapse where you guys get to watch me put this thing together, and then hopefully we'll get to see some benchmarks. everything works here. You guys haven't seen the front of it yet. I understand, I'm sorry, but oh, it's kind of difficult to show off everything you're doing with a complicated system like this. Anytime there's a lot of RGB involved, it, it usually is a very difficult process. But I think I've got everything connected where it should be. I've cleaned the tempered glass plates. There are some fingerprints on the outside. Hopefully this thing turns on and it boots the first time around. If it does, then I'm the best and you have to subscribe. So if this system does work like I hope it does, I will have a system that is easily more powerful than my current rig and I will have to make a decision on whether I keep that one or go on with this one. Um, but we're thinking too far into the future. So uh, let's take this thing over to the testing area and see if it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make fun of my cable management down here. It's what's inside the computer that counts, okay?
Okay, moment of truth. Ooh. Uh, no post. Uh, let's see if it's a loose cable. Let's go, it works. Run setup. So the issue was actually pretty complicated. Um, I did not plug in the CPU uh, power cable. Should we overclock this thing? All right, so the only thing I did was push the RAM to the 3000 megahertz speed at which it is rated for. And now we save changes and reboot. <sighs> Less, wait, Windows was already installed on that drive? Who the f is Lance? <laughs> Uh, this wasn't fully refurbished. It still has shit on it. Are you kidding me? All right, you guys seen a Windows install probably a million times. You don't need to watch this. Okay, so before we get into the gaming montage, the one score that I am really excited to see is actually the Cinebench R15 CPU score. Now, assuming that most of you guys are gamers, you're probably not gonna care if your processor is all that powerful, but for me as a video editor, I find it very fascinating to see just how strong multi-core performance is. I'm pretty sure my record is like 1450 with my 8086K processor in my system, but I really wanna see what this thing's gonna get. Oh my God. Look at all 16 of those threads chugging away. Jesus. <laughs> you see that? 1,800 flat. All right, so a few things before we wrap up this video. As you could tell from the benchmarks, obviously the graphics card is the main thing holding this system back from its true potential in gaming, but an RX 578 gigabyte is still a fairly powerful card, and I saw no reason to let it continue collecting dust and becoming a complete waste of money. As for the case, the 570X from Corsair is actually the first case I have ever encountered, which actually only needed two 
two connections for the front panel connectors. It only needed the power switch connector and the power LED connectors. So if you do end up buying this case, expect to see that oddity in the build process. And don't worry, I'll be putting links in the description for all the parts that were used in this system so you can check those out for yourself if you want. Whenever you are building a system with a ton of RGB like this one has, you should always expect to need an additional piece of equipment because even if you do get a high-end enthusiast motherboard, you might not always have all the USB 2.0 ports that you will need to make sure that all of the LED RGB lights in your system will be able to be controlled properly when you finally install Windows and whatever light controlling software you will end up needing. So like me, make sure you do your research before purchasing all your RGB components. If you want to know if I keep this rig or my current main rig, give me a follow on Twitch and Twitter while I will be giving updates because either way, I will have to sell one of these systems. And lastly, if you think I didn't intentionally leave Bowser as my wallpaper to trigger some of you, think again. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining or informative in any way, shape or form. And as always, have a great day.